title of this video right here, you guys. It's going to be why does the Most High allow the empowered individuals to suffer? I'm making this video right here, you guys, because I've been receiving a lot of comments lately from different people that have their own opinions and outputs about, you know, the targeted individual program. And they, they ask me, they say it feels like it's a curse on them. You know, why does it seem like the most side allows the good people to suffer? You feel me? And I want you guys to know, I've had the same questions at some period of time in my life. Please excuse the noise campaign in the background. You know I'm around the gang stalkers. <clears throat> the most high allows you to suffer, you guys, to show you just how unique you really are. You know? I used to always ask myself, like, why... Does the Most High allow demonic people to come into my life time and time again? You know, if I'm a good person, why does He allow people that are just energy vampires to run in and out of my life, using me for my good, right? I mean, anti room. And I want you guys to know the reason why He allows such things to manifest in your life, you guys, is to show you the difference between you and the rest, separating the wheat from the tares. You know, you guys ever try to befriend somebody? You ever try to befriend somebody and you do everything right in that friendship? But that friend turns out to be a snake. You know, even though you're a friendly person, you constantly magnetize snakes. It's not inside of you. But all of these traits that you're not looking for constantly finds you, you know? The Most High likes to show you time and time again just how unique you really are. You're a legend, you know? The gang stalkers, you guys, their ultimate goal is to turn you like them, you know? Because some people, you guys, they give up being good. They're like, there's no God out there. It seems like... The good people suffer. You suffer for a reason. The devil's in control of this matrix that we, you know, we live in right now. This, this simulation. You know? But in the end, we're going to be shown a lot of great things. We will be blessed for this. You know? Never get upset with this program, you guys. It's, it's a test. You know? It really is a test. I'm going to make this video like a little rant for y'all. You know? I just wanted to start it off with that. You know, why does he allow the targeted individuals to suffer? He allows you to suffer to show you the difference between you and the rest of the people in the world. I had to get burned time and time again for me to learn the lessons that I learned about myself. You know, I shed many tears. I've had many nights where I was confused. You know, because I'm like, dang, like, I don't do nothing wrong to nobody. Why does it seem like, <laughs> you know, this weird shit just keeps happening to me? It's to, it's to test your patience. You know, some of us like to call ourselves children of God, but some of us ain't wanted to go through the things that a real child of God goes through, you know? So if you're a person that, that's, that's claiming that, you're putting that title on yourself, like, yeah, I'm chosen. I'm a child of the Most High. I, I fear Jesus, or you fear Yeshua. You're going to get tested, you know, to see if you're really about that life, you know? You ever see, like, when somebody be like, yeah, I'm a gangster. I'm hardcore. Can't nobody fuck with me, you know? You're going to attract that energy to yourself. You're going to attract real gangsters that's hardcore and really about that life to yourself. You feel me? If you say I'm a child of God, I'm a real one, I fear the most high, you're going to draw demons to you. You know?
because they're going to want to see if you're really about that life. They're going to test you. Every which way that they can, they're going to test you to see if you're really what you say you are. You know? And they're not going to stop until, you know, the Most High tells them to stop. Until the Most High deems you to be, like, whatever it is that you say you are. You know? But the Most High allows us targeted individuals to suffer because... He's just trying to show us the difference between us and the rest of the people in the world. That's what gets me my confidence on some days, you guys. I used to get angry on some days, and I will begin to feel like some of the things that I did that was good was weak. You know? Because you have a bunch of demonic people in the world nowadays that try to make it seem like being non-empathetic, being all about self, comparing yourself to the next person, materialistic prideful, you know what I'm saying? Just all kinds of low vibrational energies inside of them. They like to make that out to be strong. And the people that are empathetic, sharing, they waste time out of their life trying to better the next person. You feel me? They're compassionate, loving, confident, real confident, legitimately confident, you know? Those are the people that all the bad things happen to. And it's to destroy you. You know, but that's for you to pray to God every day. But then I want to talk to you guys also about fasting during the gang stalking program. You know, I fast. I fast on the Sabbath. And if I can't make it on the Sabbath, I fast at least one day out of the week. You know, the most I would prefer for you to fast at least one day out of the week, you guys, because it's the ultimate sacrifice. You know, I do what they call it, dry fasting from sunup to sundown. And during that fast, you guys, I will often pray. You know, I will try my best. Even if you watch YouTube videos, you guys, because I'm not judging anybody out there. Even if you watch YouTube videos dealing with sermons and people speaking about the word, you're still dedicating yourself to learning about the Most High. You know? Try your best to, to watch a YouTube video, read a scripture, you know what I'm saying? Meditate on that scripture for the day, the remainder of your fast, you know? And just try to figure out different things that you could do to please the most high more. Go outside, you know what I'm saying? Share the scripture that you read with other people, even if it's one person, you know? Make a YouTube video speaking about the scripture that you just read, you know? Do something, you know? That's going to help you combat the gang stalking too. Because the more you grow on God and the more of his protection that you get, the more, you know, power that you will have to deal with the negativity that's manifesting around you every day. You know?